This is, yeah, Artistics of Africa. Yeah, okay. Yeah, the Artistics of Africa Network's Day of Morning 2014 in New City. Today we stand around on the first day of March together in a circle and remember those people with disabilities who were abused and killed without even fulfilling their life's purpose and mission. There are many people who died unnecessarily and without cause. A lot of the names you will see on this poster, but many names go unnoticed. The caregivers and parents who murdered their loved ones were sympathized instead of the people who died who should have been mourned. Justice needs to be served when, they, when any life is taken for granted and taken away without cause. Everyone has a purpose. Everyone has a right to live their life the way they know they can be a productive member of members of society and be encouraged to do so. We stand here today as one human race as we remember at the vigil the lives of those people who could have been, who could have had a good, remarkable life, who could have gained and achieved positive things in their life. Achievements that many of us take for granted and knowledge we learn or learned that these people could have had too. It's unfortunate that the society we live in does not appreciate and respect everyone who lives here. Society needs to change, and society needs to realize everyone matters and everyone has a chance to take responsibility for their own lives. We live, we survive, we have self-determination, we have resilience, we have power, we have strength, and we are the ones who will survive even when it's our final time in this society to make our mark. A mark. Our mark is to ensure every human being lives in their fullest advantage with extraordinary capabilities and intelligence the way we were intended to be built. Everyone can use their minds to do something they want to. It's just important to remember that we are to use our mind to be creative or invent a fulfilling enjoyment for the world to enjoy. Life is beautiful if you make it beautiful. But life is given to us to help support each other embracing the relationships we already have or will have in the future. In retrospect, we are a community, a very broad and diverse community of humanity where we will be, we've built a society to live in. The, that society we live in is guaranteed to help us to be included, be rewarded, and be respected no matter what. What more can I say? We need to support each other, but most importantly, we need to embrace the very fact of our humanity and let us say, give a supportive, inclusive environment a chance and be respectful, courteous, and loving to all those around you. Think twice before you say something or do something hurtful and enjoy the remarkable world we live in. There are so many people who have so much to offer, so give life a chance and let everyone live their life the way they know they have how to live it. Love can go two ways. Sometimes it's one way, but we need to make it a two-way street. Love means something when we enjoy, when we journey through love, life, accepting people's missions, people's genders, people's disabilities, people's personalities, people's sexualities, people's races, and people's vision for the world. Everyone lives and everyone has a chance to feel anointed to their respectful wishes on how they want to live their life, experience the world, rectify their past, and live their personal destiny. Not everyone believes in spirituality and not everyone does not believe in spirituality either. That is the beauty of the way we all live in this world. Everyone craves the talented world we live in, to live the dream we always wanted. Now is the time to live the dream we always wanted. Now is the time for people with disabilities to feel accepted to their guided light of the day and build up a life too. Nobody should feel hurt, nobody should be killed, and nobody should feel their life does not matter because we all matter. As I conclude my opening remarks to this vigil, important vigil, we embark on a new era of guiding light, guiding people, all people, toward the light, toward sky, toward the vision of clouds in the sky, to move forward and smile at everybody around you. Thank you everyone for coming to this important part of the history in the making for a journey toward hope, toward love, toward mission well served. Now I introduce you to our state senator, David Carlucci, to say a few words about this vigil. Thank you to the committee, Ari and Josh and Emmanuel for helping. And I think it's to you. Great, well thank you. You're well, welcome. I just, I just want to thank you for organizing this and to everybody that helped uh, put this together. And although the numbers might be small today, it's really about making sure that we take some time out and have that awareness. Um, today, people around the nation are doing what we're doing and saying, look, let's, let's pause from what we're doing and remember uh, the people that couldn't join us here today. 
uh, because of neglect or abuse. And I, I had the distinct honor and privilege of serving as chairman of the Mental Health and Developmental Disabilities Committee in the New York State Senate. And some of the things that we're working on now um, are so important that we get addressed. Um, I've been working on a piece of legislation called Paula's Law. And Paula's Law is named after a woman, Paula, who was in under the care of the uh, Office of People with Developmental Disabilities in the state of New York. And unfortunately, she was attacked, she was raped, and she eventually died of her injuries. And we're fortunate that her memory is living on because her brother is not letting her 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 life die in vain and remembering her life and working with myself and the chairwoman in the assembly uh, we've put together Paula's Law and what it would do is very simple uh, it's asking the Office of People with Developmental Disabilities any facility that they run that they have cameras at every entrance and exit uh, something that we would think we don't really need to make a law for this this should just be happening um, but unfortunately it's not and the person that murdered Paula unfortunately has gotten away and criminal, the criminal system hasn't been able to find that person. Mm -hmm. um, but there's people like Paula, unfortunately, uh, that have happened way too many times here in this state and around the nation. Um, but in New York, we can be leaders and say, we're gonna take a zero tolerance policy towards this. So a simple step like Paula's law is common sense and has to get done. Another very important issue when we talk about the quality of care that our loved ones are receiving is something that I'm working on right now is legislation that would give a credential to a direct service provider. Unfortunately, direct service providers in the state of New York and in the nation are the lowest paid healthcare employees out there. Mm -hmm. And what that means is many of these people that want to dedicate their career towards serving our most vulnerable population really can't. They can't raise a family. Uh, they have to work two or three jobs to, to do that job of being a direct service provider. So we were able to pass legislation last year that would do this credential, but unfortunately it was vetoed by the governor. And now we're trying to put it back in the budget this year. And we're hopeful to pass the budget by April 1st of this year. And in the mental health budget, I put in Article 7 legislation that would create a direct service provider credential. Uh, and I think we can really be leaders in the nation on this issue to say, look, if we have experience quality professionals serving our most vulnerable population and giving the people that want to do that a career path, we'll be able to cut down on these awful cases of neglect and abuse. So that's why I think it's just so important. I really commend all of you for coming out in this bitter cold uh, to remember and to build that awareness for people that might not be able to join us here today. So I look forward to working with all of you uh, in the coming months and the years to come. And like we were talking about before, I think even though we have small numbers today, do this year and again, and the numbers will grow. The numbers will grow. Just keep keep on keep with it. So thank you. <laughs>